know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully roars onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. Yo guys, what's going on? One back to another match preview. Butter versus Cardiff City tomorrow night is going ahead, of course. All the matches recorded off of the weekend, and understandably as well, of course, the passing of Her Majesty, so rest in peace to the Queen. So the news broke through on Friday. Uh, I think it was news that we're all expecting, of course, the football to be called off, and of course it was. Recently, though, the EFL had put out this morning that, of course, all fixtures are taking place midweek, basically, will be going ahead. I'm obviously not sure about this weekend coming up. Of course, it is the funeral of the Queen on Monday, so will the matches take place the weekend before the game? You never know, but I guess we'll have to wait and see exactly what the EFL say. But, of course, tomorrow night, we are at home. We have got Cardiff City. It's a hell of a journey for them to make, so I do feel sorry for the Cardiff fans travelling to Middlesbrough tomorrow night. Five, six hours is it to Middlesbrough, depending on the traffic and what have you, so not going to get home till the early hours, but listen, fair play to making the journey. When I look at this game on paper, I think it all points to a Middlesbrough win, with no disrespect to Cardiff, but I feel like we should be able to get past them. We had a good last win against Sunderland, of course we all wanted to kick on into Blackpool, but of course what's happened has happened. Hopefully though the momentum still there with the players, which I'm sure it will be. Obviously brought in a new sign-in as well, so things are all looking up for us at the moment. Out of the bottom three, up to 17th, win this game, we could possibly go 7th, depending on everyone else's result. Which is a massive, massive positive for us, considering that, you know, we started off the season so badly. We were inside the bottom three, and now of course it looks like progression is finally on the up depending on what happens tomorrow night. But as I say, I do feel like Borat are strong enough to get past Cardiff, given that they aren't exactly playing the best at the moment. from their last win came against Birmingham City on the 13th of August at home. Um, and since then, they haven't won a game. So, as I say, they've been a bit up and down. They've been absolutely atrocious. And I'm being completely honest with you, I'm sure Cardiff fans will probably agree. Don't get me wrong, they might have had some good performances in there. But overall, sit 22nd so far inside the league table. I think the top scorer has only got two goals this season in eight games. Things aren't looking great for them. And of course, they had the last game, they got beat away at Millwall 2 0. Great to see Dale Fry back inside the team as well against Sunderland. Before he had an absolute cracking game, he has to keep his place. And it's interesting to see as well that obviously Chris Wilder wants to keep Roberts inside the lineup. And obviously, Stefan won't be getting a look in at the moment, which I think is fair play. I think since Roberts has been playing, since Stefan's been injured, he's been absolutely phenomenal for us in goal. So, right decisions have been made there. I know Stefan comes from Manchester City, and I think he's got a pretty high wage and what have you. But at the end of the day, Roberts is getting everything right inside of the goal, so you know if he's doing well between the sticks, no need to take him out of there, is there? Uh, I keep the same team with Sunderland. I would probably say unless two Black Palmers back, then I would try and put two Black Palmer front alongside Munez. I think them two are going to be a proper duo this season. Uh, bag up loads and loads of goals between them, so you know I'm looking forward to seeing that. I won't be at the match tomorrow night though, so I will do a match review as I'm watching the game. But as I say. Butter versus Cardiff tomorrow night. And of course, my score breaks it for this one. I'm going to go Butter 2, Cardiff 0. We should have no problems. I do think that Butter are a lot stronger than Cardiff all over the field. And at home, we normally have a decent record against them as well. So I'm going to stick with that. Butter 2, Cardiff 0. What is your score prediction? Leave us out in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.